Hey guys, how's it going? So it is July 22nd today and it's a Wednesday and I usually get excited about going out and hanging out with the students in person on Wednesdays at Tomahawk Christian Church underneath the pavilion. But we have a problem. It's raining. And when I looked at the weather and looked at all the weather apps and uh, it's just going to keep raining, I have a feeling. So uh, Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon at 4 o'clock at TCC is uh, canceled today on July 22nd. Uh, this is your notice before 3 o'clock, so I'm keeping my end of the bargain. So uh, guys, uh, parents, don't worry about trying to get the kids here. Kids, don't worry about trying to get here. Uh, this is the video for that. So July 22nd, Wednesday afternoon at 4 o'clock is canceled today because of rain. Um, and it's before three, so kept my end of the bargain. Have a fun night at home, and here's a little bit of the lesson we were going to talk about on tonight. We were going to wrap up kind of those three verses that we discussed for the last three weeks. The first one being Isaiah nine six, for a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulder. He will be named Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. And then we also read Isaiah 40, 28. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Yahweh is the everlasting God, the creator of the whole earth. He never grows faint or weary. There is no limits to his understanding. And then we also did Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, interesting, uh, interesting thing about these three verses. Genesis one one, the beginning, as I told talked last time, that was the beginning of everything. And Genesis one one was written. It was written after, but it took place before sin was even a part of the world. And Isaiah, the Isaiah nine was taken when Isaiah was still alive before Jesus came around. And then Isaiah 40, it was written by Isaiah, but told by his disciples after Isaiah's death, before Jesus was around. So the interesting thing is all three of these are the Old Testament. All three of these books are, are pre-Jesus. Uh, if you heard my lessons about Isaiah, they're about 700 years before Christ even came on the earth. And he t Moses, who wrote Genesis talked about the beginning and then when the fall of man happened Isaiah talked about the son of man who was going to come and help fix everything so these three verses were really good for the last three weeks and, and guys still keep remembering in fact um, here's here's some tips this might be a little bit of longer video but here's some tips uh, I, I discussed with a crew on Monday about this this is what this is what we uh, talked about. So in Isaiah nine six, we have a for a child for a child will be born for us. A son will be given to us. Okay, the government rests on our shoulders. Okay, so there's you, 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 that's part one of Isaiah nine six. Okay, three different aspects of God or Jesus. For a child will be born for us. A son will be given to us. And the government rests on his shoulders. Those are the three aspects. And then you have the four names that he is going to be called. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. So if you can remember that part A of Isaiah 9 6, kind of tells you who this Jesus guy is going to be eventually. A child is going to be born to us. A son will be given to us. The government will rest on his shoulder. And then the part two of Isaiah 9, 6. Um, he will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. And then we go to Isaiah 40, 28. And it starts with two questions. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Do you not know? Have you not heard? And then it goes into aspects of Yahweh or God. Yahweh is the everlasting God, creator of the whole earth. He never grows faint or weary.
There's no limits to his understanding. Another four aspects of Yahweh. Another four aspects of God. Another four aspects that we will hear. So Isaiah 40, 28 starts with two questions and has four aspects uh, that we need to know about God. Okay? Do you not know? Have you not heard? Yahweh is the everlasting God, the creator of the whole earth. He never grows faint or weary, and there's no limit to his understanding. So now we also want to go move on to Genesis 1-1, in the beginning. And that's real easy to remember. As I said, Genesis, the beginning of everything. The beginning, that's what, when you hear Terminator Genesis was a movie, I believe. The beginning, uh, whenever you hear the word, the Genesis of this, the Genesis of that, the beginning. In the beginning, and we need a heaven and an earth. God created the heaven and the earth. It's a real easy thing to remember. Hey guys, keep posting on social media. Thank you for your time. Sorry it rained, but ain't nothing I can do. And according to policies that we've kind of put ourselves under uh, with uh, health health and, and a global pandemic and, and trying to be, get back to normal, uh, right now being inside without face coverings is uh, not a good idea right now. And... Instead of making y'all wear face coverings, we're just going to cancel. Thank you for your time, guys. Enjoy it. Remember Isaiah 9-6, Isaiah 40-28, Genesis 1-1. Thank you for your time, guys.